you ever have a sample that you're absolutely in love with and you're like, yes, and you buy the full size bottle, but the full size ain't quite hitting? Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about today because honestly, it's not talked about enough where you'll upgrade to that full size bottle and it just don't be giving you the same type of vibes. And it's just like, what am I supposed to do with this? So I picked out a few fragrances from my own collection to talk about because honestly, when I purchase fragrances, I don't be buying stuff just to go ahead and sell it. I buy it because I loved it and I want to have it. But sometimes shit just don't work out. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish, but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm gonna start off with probably my most used from this entire selection. And that's Louis Vuitton Atra Perez. Now there was a point in time that I really, really loved this, but the longer I've had it, I've expressed to you guys that it's been changing and I feel like that patchouli is really creeping up. And now it's starting to smell like the ground a little bit. But like Atra Revs, it does have that, see it smells good now. But I think I just have to use this quite sparingly, like little sprays, you know, can't overdo it with this one. And then I've been trying to layer this one with the, um, the lychee fragrances that I do have in my collection. So just to make it a little sweeter, you know, just not as earthy as it once was. But out of all of them, this is one that I've used definitely the most. And it's like, it's called, kind of fallen out of love with, but it's okay. This next one really like just breaks my heart, but Memo Paris Scene Thra. Oh man, this one, when I first sampled it, I loved this. This gave me an adult version of Love Don't Be Shy. You know, I had that beautiful orange blossom um, mixed with the marshmallows. And this one had a pedigree note, which in the sample, I was cool with. I was like, all right, we're cool. It made it a little bit more grown. Fast forward, when I got this bottle, the pedigree note really, really sticks out. It's very, very green. And I was just like, hold up like like that that's a bit strong so i was hoping that the sweetness will increase and that pedigree will kind of go down and it just hasn't at this moment and the pedigree oh she holds on for dear life like she doesn't go anywhere from the top of the fragrance to the bottom is present so i, I like i don't reach for it often like barely a dent in here and it's so sad. Like, I love the fact that my juice has gotten nice and dark. And I'm just like, oh my God, like, what am I gonna do? Like, so, of course, I do layer this under Love Don't Be Shy just to take, take the edge off a little bit. But yeah, I was just like, I was so in love with this fragrance sample. And it's just like, that pedigree note is just like beating my nose up. So again, something that I have to go really, really lightly on, on my body. You know, I try to do like one spray in the pulse points and then I can like cover myself in other fragrances. But yeah, that one just a little sad for me. I don't wanna talk about it. All right, Christian Dior Tabac Color. I got this because it layers really, really well with my cherry fragrances. Y'all know Timmy Tom Tom, Lost Cherry, she she be gone so i wanted a nice deep base and at the time i was looking at tobacco fragrances it really meshed well with cherry so i was like okay we can get a little thickness going on and then i believe travalia wallace she i bought this from um her not her personally but from nordstrom and i believe this one was at the old Dior pricing before they hiked it up. So I got this for a really, really good price. And I really enjoy it. I love this for the winter time, but let me tell you, the tobacco is tobaccoing. This smells like a man, honey. And it's losing that sweetness that it used to have. So 
is like, I always, always, always have to layer this with some sort of sweet cherry note. And I was like, I wasn't prepared. Okay, I, was, I wasn't prepared because she, she switched up on me real quick and barely a dent in there. Like it's basically full. So I was just like, Ugh. I do want to reach for this during the winter time. This works well in the winter. You only need a little bit too. So like, again, just like Memo, I just spray it in like the crooks of my arms and I'm like, well, maybe one back here and call it a day. Like I don't do too much. Don't, not too much on my girl. But tobacco lore is just one of those fragrances that I'm just like, maybe, maybe I'll, I, I, I reacted to quick. Another tobacco fragrance that I don't find myself reaching for that often, but it's Amwash Sunshine. Now, I know I've been all up on here like, oh, the honey, the honey, the honey. And it is nice. I have used it. I got a, a decent dent in it. I think it is beautiful. But again, that tobacco is starting to really ramp up in here. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. What's going on? And also this is honey. So that honey is make, like making it really like resinous. And it's just like, I'm not really feeling the combo right now. So I'm just like, damn. Like I was enjoying it for a while. And then it's like, uh, the longer this sits, the more my sunshine is, you know, she, she getting a little dim, okay? She's a little cloudy out. <laughs> so. Amwaj, I really, really like her, but yeah, I'm, I'm slowly changing my mind with this one and it's going all right. I was so excited to get EBK's Ruby and Vanilla Neroli. This was one of my favorites when I first tested it. Obviously, this was the first bottle I, I chose and I was like, yes, I really, really love the sample. And this one, she needs time to macerate because... She not quite hitting the way I first had it, like when I first sampled it. Like my juices have definitely gotten darker, but I, I need her to do a little bit more. But like, I feel like in my original one, I had a little bit more of a vanilla kick to it. And this one, the Neroli is great in here. Really, really lovely, but I just, I just want a little bit more. So like, I've just been letting her cook, letting her get a little season, mar marinate up in her juices and all. But the one sidebar, I know I was like, uh, you know, the uh, Deep in Desire yacht. I was like, ah, you know, I don't need a, I, mama wants it, mama wants it. I've been going through my little travel size and I was like, I think I want to add to it, so. This one, it is beautiful. I really, really like it. But it's just like something about it right now, I think because it hasn't fully matured. I see, wait, I don't know. It, it, it. Why, why are you trying to get back into my good graces, girl? Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't remember if this was a blind buy or not, but Thamine's Peregrina. I liked it. I, I want to say I had the sample. I had to have had the sample, right? But I feel like this, this is reading a little bit older on my skin. Like it's a really like nice, I wanna say this is praline and roses type combination. And I'm finding that sometimes that combination mixed with a little oud don't really hit for me. I'm not sure if this one actually does have oud, but every time I go to like wear it, I'm just not the happiest when I wear it. I'm like, mm, I'm not sure if I'm in love with this. Again, this is something that I really need to add a bit of sweetness to, a little vanilla or something to it. But Peregrina is just like at the front. Like she sits right up here, but I bypass her all the time. And I don't know what the deal is with this because she's long lasting, very, very long lasting. I, I sprayed a um, 
a sweater with this and she's still bumping. And I'm like, damn girl, shh, 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 calm down. And she's like, nope, I'm here. So yeah, I haven't really been reaching for her. I just recently wore her and I just was like, hey, hey, I don't know, I don't know about her. This, this one, oh damn, I hate to say it. Safanon. I remember this was the top three when I first discovered Parfums de Marley. I was like, this one. It smells like a warm hug, but there is a very prominent Play-Doh note that I'm currently getting and I'm just like, I really am not enjoying that. And it's, it's definitely the type of vanilla because there's, a, I forget which other, um, fragrances y'all know I've reviewed a few fragrances with vanilla in it and it's coming off like play-doh on my nose all of a sudden she's playing like play-doh and I'm like girl what is you doing like you went from the top three to the bottom three how'd that happen and I was just like so surprised with this one and yeah I just haven't been reaching for it at all. This is basically full too. Again, this is one that I try to layer with like love don't be shy or something. I just need that extra sweetness or some vanilla vanilla vanilla. It's just like, it's not working out for me. And I'm just like, I'm I, I'm not selling her though. Cause I like looking at my Puffins de Marley collection <laughs> and seeing all the bottles with the exception of two. But this one I can work with still. And I know that's a lot of talk like, oh, you know, you shouldn't have to um, work with a fragrance. I understand that. But after I done spent my money, I'd rather work with a fragrance than trying to sell it. You know, it's just like, maybe it, it won't get used up as quickly. Sure, valid, okay, cool. But me trying to sell it, I gotta take a loss in the actual fragrance. I gotta ship it. I, I, it, it. But then I also get the other side of the coin is like, okay, you can reinvest. I understand. I know how that works, but it's just like this one. Yeah, I wish I didn't get so much of that Play-Doh vibe. And maybe it's the orange blossom too. Maybe it's not too, but yeah. She ain't been playing nice with me, so I'm just like, mm. Kajal Amas. Mm. Yep, I said it, I said it. So I believe this one was a blind buy because this was raspberries. It's all of the things. It's sweet, it's marshmallowy. Yeah, it is. I really, really do like this, but sometimes it gets a little screechy on the skin. Do I enjoy it? Yes. It's not quite like, Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse is definitely a little bit smoother. But this one, although I like it a lot, it gets very screechy. So it's just like, uh, I've been tucking her down in, in the basement <laughs> and hoping that it kind of smooths out the longer I have her. But I really do like it. It's just, I really like that raspberry that's in here. So again, now I start thinking, what can I layer it with it? I'm hitting it with the Minnie Mouse. So yeah, this one, I, uh, honestly, I'm not even sure why I picked up Lyra. <laughs> I'll, I'll be for real. Because Lyra, when I reviewed it, I was like, oh, she's giving off Centronella candle. She kind of still does. There are so many other lemon and anemone fragrances that I just enjoy way better than this. And it is like, I my lemon obsession kind of all happened at the same time. So it was just like, fuck. Like, I really probably shouldn't have got this because I'm enjoying so many other ones. Although I, I no longer have hard to get because I gave it to my my bestie and I'm like, fuck, I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> shouldn't have did that. But I was I was reaching for that more. I reached for Hufflepuff more. I've been reaching for Acro Bake more. So it's just like Lyra kind of got caught in the undertow 
And I just haven't been reaching for her. So I was just like, damn, like, like I really should have stuck with my guns. And was like, ah, oh, no, but you know, I saw a good price one and I was like, all right, this was the start of my lemon vanilla gourmand um, vibe. So I was just like, fuck it. Let me just hop on it. Maybe it'll get better as it ages. But yeah, it's just like, it's cute or whatever, but I feel like there's there's harder hitting ones that I, I gravitate a little bit more to. And this one I'm still trying to give a, a fair shot to, but this is House of Siage Cream Chiffon. Same thing with Lyra. I probably shouldn't have jumped the gun with this because with this, I saw the price. I think it was 60% off. <laughs> That's what it was. But it's a really nice sandalwood if you're into that. I'm not sure if it has sandalwood but it, it comes off sandalwoody to me. I think I just jumped a little too quickly into the fire and then I ended up getting Hufflepuff shortly after and I was just like, fuck, like I really didn't need this. So is it pretty? Yes. It's very like a nice light fun wood, but I, I really didn't need it. And then like thinking about, um this particular collection this was the one that i liked out of the three but it was also like damn i'm never gonna smell hufflepuff and i was trying to avoid the hype and i freaking loved hufflepuff but cream chiffon is really really nice it's like very smooth very smooth it's not like stark and you know so i really enjoy that but yeah, it's just, she's just here. She's just here. But uh, let me know some of your um, full upgrades that you wish you kind of didn't take. <laughs> Check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.